एग्जाम्पल सेवन पॉइंट नाइन A three meter long ladder weighing twenty kilogram leans on a frictionless wall. Its feet rest on the floor one meter from the wall, as shown in the figure. Find the reaction forces of the wall and the floor. Now see here, it is given to you. The wall is frictionless, but Floor that will not be frictionless. If it is frictionless, then this ladder will slip off. If it is with friction, then and then only. If it is rough surface, then and then only, the ladder will remain as shown in this figure. Now, first of all, understand the figure. Ladder, three meter long. and is lean as shown in the figure with this wall and this floor now at wall the end of the ladder is at point b where the force on that particular end of the ladder by wall that is f1 so we can say this is the reaction okay then here at the floor suppose the reaction by floor at the end of this ladder that is f2 now friction at the floor that is f that is towards ac because if friction is not there then ladder will slip off and that is the impending motion and friction is always in the opposite direction of impending motion and this n that is the normal reaction okay and now here we want to find this reaction forces f1 and f2 f2 that is the resultant of this friction and this normal reaction clear to all of you now see this end of the ladder that is at 1 meter from the wall so ac that is 1 meter now center of mass of the ladder that will be at mid point here okay now so now here the center of mass that is at the midpoint so we can represent the weight of the ladder from the center of mass now as pythagoras theorem we can write ac square plus cb square that is equal to ab square so cb square that is equal to ab square minus ac square then cb that will come to 2 root 2 now here the ladder is in equilibrium so we can write for translational equilibrium the horizontal and vertical forces are perfectly balanced so here the vertical force is normal reaction upward weight downward so n minus w equal to 0 so n equal to w but w that is the weight of the ladder that is mg mass of the ladder that is given to you 20 g that is 9.8 you will get n then after the horizontal forces so f1 that is in negative x direction and frictional force f that is in positive x direction so f minus f1 equal to 0 so f equal to f1 but now we have to calculate this f1 we don't know how much it is now keep it as it is then after take the rotational equilibrium so for rotational equilibrium we can write the force f1 this one 
दैट इज एट परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस इक्वल टू टू रूट टू सो वी कैन राइट द परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस इन टू फोर्स एफ वन देन अनदर फोर्स दिस डबल्यू दैट इज एट द परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस 0.5 because this is the midpoint of the ladder if you draw a normal on ac then that normal will be at point e so this portion is 1 meter so ae that will be equal to 0.5 so perpendicular distance 0.5 into force w so that is negative because it will give you the rotation like this and for rotational equilibrium we can write the resultant torque that is equal to 0 so 2 root 2 f1 that is 0.5 w but w that is mg that is 196 we already calculated so substitute here then f1 equal to 0.5 into 196 upon 2 root 2 this 2 root 2 is taken on right hand side if you solve it then your answer will be 34.6 now substitute this value 34.6 here so now your f comes to 34.6 newton now this f1 reaction force is already calculated second one f2 the reaction force that is the resultant of f and n so we can write f2 that is under root n square plus f square so that is under root 196 square plus 34.6 square then solve this one you will get f2 also clear to all of you